good, everybody? Welcome back to the Two Up channel. We got two hype summer top video. It is hosted by yours truly, Chef Omas. We got some bomb ingredients, some fire shelves, and we also got two amazing judges. We got Will from 100 Thieves, and we got Lenny from out the country. What's going on? Today we're gonna be judging the contestant chefs who are gonna be trying to take home the coveted golden spatula. And they don't just give these away, they're earned. Facts. That was good. Was you have the spatula in your ass. In my ass, boy. <laughs> don't use it to cook. Hey, don't use the golden spatula to cook. Our first team is the dynamic duo, Chef Jeff and Luke. Luke. Come on, eh? Hello, judges. Hello. Hello. Are you ready to be flavor blasted? I don't know, but I'm- Oh, <laughs> God. Wait a minute now. Are you guys excited? Hell no. I'm messing with the American flag, though. You like it? You like it? Oh, we got heart. that matter. America, goddamn America. I don't even know who the other team is. They're the underdogs. Most oh, definitely. Oh, yeah, 100%. Look Most at definitely. him. Look at this kid's shoes. And today, they'll be cooking against the brothers Rydell, Jesser, and Drydell. Just got back from Flavor Town. Look at that American Eagle. What's up, man? Hello, man, hello. Okay, I like that. What's that other shit? What's he wearing? Giants. Giants. I like the giant. Giants. Giants. Why does it say Giants? You're the size of <laughs> Don't talk to him like I that. I think okay? you should have the giant one on. You are No, you you're right, actually. We're better than the other team. Now I can tell already. It's the worst trash talk I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> They're both wearing socks, so you guys are a step ahead. So why aren't you wearing socks? Well, because when you're a cook, you just gotta let everything breathe, you know? Uh, breathe yeah. breathe on the dish. I, I breathe everywhere. You know Your first challenge is gonna be to cook us the ultimate summer feces with the ingredients in front of you. Feces? Feces. Line is feast. Feast? Yeah. Feast. I can't read. Whatever, you know what I said. <laughs> now contestants, for your mystery in- Ooh, that was loud. For your mystery- Damn. Ingredients. We're going to have, of course, Louisiana hot sauce. Yes. Don't clap. Right, well, Don't clap. Why are we still here? Hot Cheetos. Oi. OK, OK. But last but not least, what is it that? You must incorporate this in your dishes. Points would be deducted if you don't. We got Hennessy, boys. Hey! Boy. Lady, how you feel about that? I like that right there. Usually I'm a Curtis Light boy, but I drink some Hennessy if I got to. Hennessy, not typically known as a cooking liqueur. Yeah. But I'm excited to see what these chefs can do. I drink it when I do cook, though. That's true. Contestants, are y'all ready? Yes. We are starting right now. You got 50 minutes. So, these are the three she gonna make. Maybe like the hot sauce ketchup. A burger with a ketchup hot sauce, maybe maybe some mayo. These three together. Make a crazy sauce. Yeah. And then, I don't know how we're gonna incorporate the... But I feel like we have to make drinks on the side with the Hennessy. Yo, I'm not even gonna lie, this is a meal right here. Just pour some of this some inside of this. here. Yeah, okay. Come on now. Should we just try it? All right, how about I, I start cooking all the meats? I'll do the corn. Okay, okay. How do I cook corn though? Anyone know? Do you want this? Do you want this? Yes! Do you want this? Want Do you want it? Yeah. You gotta earn it! Okay! You suck! How do you cook corn? Do you want this? Do you want this? Yeah. Alright, never mind. Do you want this? Do you yeah. want this? You gotta I earn it! Alright, alright, alright. Dude, I love waffle cut fries, so I'm gonna make some. That's my game plan. Today I'm James the Sushi Chef. This man is Gordon Ramsay, apprentice level cook, so I'm gonna just do whatever he tells me. Is Sweden a German name? Who is Sweden, sons? This ain't American beef. You don't want me to use this? It is American. Look. That ain't no, American. No, 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 no. Where's the flag? Look, right, uh, right there. Where's the flag? Right there. That's a barcode. Look, you scan it. You think I'm a dumb son of a you scan it, it comes out. Don't treat me like that. Go. Should I make these? Why don't we, um... Should I make these? Yeah, why not? What's going on here, man? Like, like what's, what's, what's... What are we doing? We're making burgers. We're making burgers? Look like you just playing with your meat here, boy. I am. Y'all don't, don't want the pre-cut. We gotta make our own patties. Oh, okay. Right. Smash burgers? Yeah, come on, man. So tell me what you gonna do. How are you gonna incorporate ah. hot Cheetos, hot sauce, yeah. and get us? 
All right, so the hot sauce, we're gonna make our own burger sauce with the hot sauce, the mayo, and the ketchup. Mayo? A little bit to give us some thick. Bro, hell, bro, no mayonnaise, bro. None. Zero. Zero. You lose. I hate mayonnaise, bro. Will, do you like mayonnaise? He likes mayonnaise. How are you gonna tell Big Mayo not to use mayo? Come on. Nacho, macaroni and cheese. Fire. Macar macaroni and cheese. But we don't have mac. Or we can make a hot dog. Bacon, mac, bacon, mac and cheese. But we don't have mac and cheese. Oh. Okay. Fries. Bacon fries. Bacon. I feel like this is gonna be our big W. So let's get some like really good looking ones in there. Now, now your brother he said mayonnaise. Well, we were gonna make not full mayonnaise, but I don't like sauce. mayonnaise at all. Even if there's a little it disgusts bit. me, bro. We'll tell, we'll tell you, bro, no, 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 bro, 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 no, no, no. I'll tell you a story, bro, right? right? When I was a manager at Walmart, right? It was on all warrant for condiments. Anytime mayonnaise, it didn't broke or anything. I never went around, I always get somebody else to do it. All right, James, no mayonnaise. No mayonnaise. How do we incorporate the Cheetos? What if we, what if we break the Cheetos up really finely and try to get them on the, uh, the, the fries? So they're like Cheeto flavored fries. I'm with that, I'm with that. That's a good idea. Uh, hot Cheeto top french fries with cheese. Do we have cheese? Yeah. We got cheese? Okay, we got cheese. No mayonnaise, bro! No, no mayonnaise. No mayonnaise. Zero. All right. No mayonnaise! Right. How mayonnaise even came in here? How, how, how about how about light mayo? No, no, no mayo, bro! You you are disqualified. I if I have any mayo. Bro, no, no mayonnaise, bro. I hate mayonnaise. Okay, I respect it. Hey judges, anything else that you guys want to find? That was real corny. That was real corny. Get what? Meal. You didn't get the corn. <laughs> <laughs> now, it looks as though you're going with a, a pre-made French fry. We are. We don't have any potatoes. Well, there were no potatoes. No potatoes, unfortunately. And you're, you're going with a ludicrously thick smash burgers. You're going smash burgers? Yeah, this is America. All right, so my whole plan is ruined. I was going to put mayonnaise on this corn. All right, I'll... Oh, okay, I got it. All right, we're going to need mayo on the burgers, according to Willie. Willie wants mayo. I'll take some mayo. Whoa, 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 whoa. This, this is hosted by Chef O Nasty here. Okay. So there's no mayonnaise. There's no mayo. Scratch it. No mayo. We're just going to hold on to it for this Give me the water. mayonnaise. We're just going to hold on to it. Give me the mayonnaise. We're going to hold on Give me the mayonnaise. Why? We need it. We need it. Okay, you can have the mayonnaise. All right, all right. You can have the mayonnaise. Bro just wants extra for home. Good. What is this? This, this is uh, uh, fries. Fries, why are they on a pan? Uh, they're getting pan fried. How do you, fr oh, okay, pan fried. Okay, all right. Try some fries, I like Here's that. You, you, yeah. want little, yeah. oh, you want a little bit of that? You want a little bit of that? Oh, hey, 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 hey. Get the f out of here. Did he grab my nipple aggressively hard when he took the nap in the anaise? You should file a workplace complaint. I should. Uh, Let me see the mayonnaise. Where's the mayonnaise? Let me see everybody mayonnaise. Let me see them. Give, give me the mayonnaise, Jeff. Give me the mayonnaise. Give me all the mayonnaise. What's going on there? Uh, You're going usually, but usually butter mayonnaise. before you cook it. You're going butter on some roll corn. You do realize you're buttering roll corn, buddy. Am I supposed to put it in boiling water? Well, well, we <laughs> hey, hey, listen to What is this? Is that cheese? Don't do the Mexican corn. This is America. I don't like the Mexican corn with the white yeah, shit on it and the cheese and, called, and the tagging it's season. It's called elote. I don't, I, well, I eat, I eat, elote to fucking eating it is what I do. We're making it American. Yeah, we're making American lote. Better be American. Where's the ovens? Hey, Are these ovens? The oven is ours. All right, so we get left oven? I'm gonna eat a Bro, I feel like we could use the Hennessy on the bacon and make it like a Hennessy glaze. Ooh. Okay, we're going fries in a pan and corn in the oven. <laughs> this seems like the exact opposite. Bit ass backwards, if you know what I mean. We call it back ass words. Should I take the corn out of the oven? <laughs> sure. You know what? No, that corn's gonna be great. Oh my goodness. The brothers have out a mortar and pestle. We're, we're cultured like that. Yes, sir. This is very creative. I like this. Yes. You know, as a master chef myself, I appreciate this creative tip. Ain't that what they use to make medicines? Uh, yes. One delicious hot Cheetos in 2022. 
Jeffrey, what? are we making any burgers? Uh, we're gonna ground beef. Uh, let's ground some beef so we can sprinkle it on top. You know, like a uh, taco meat kind of vibe. Okay. Yeah, we just gotta we just gotta marinate it. So how do you do that with the egg? What do I do with the egg? To, to make sure that it stays. Whisk, yeah, whisk it up. Probably brush it on. Have you said how you plan to incorporate the Hennessy yet? No. Bacon, we're, we're glazing the bacon with oh, Hennessy Oh, we're glazing the bacon. Where's like our salt and pepper oh, stuff? Oh, I got a good idea, Mucho. Do we know where salt yeah. and pepper is? Uh, we gotta ask um, somebody. Hey, I got a good idea. So, Will, what do you think about yes. this? All right, we're gonna integrate the Henny with honey. You do like agave on top because you know how sometimes honey is pretty good. Yeah. Cool. Maybe. What do you think about that? So what are you putting the honey on? Yeah, so we're doing a uh, nacho style fries. Can I make a suggestion? Yes, yeah, please. That in the honey, you do a spicy honey. The Hennessy glaze, baby. That. <laughs> you want to make a fucking cake, buddy? That's second round. Come on with it. What do I do with it? Attach it to that right there. Put this in. That might be the amount that'll get stuck to that. Son, have you ever made love to a robot? Look at this, man. Freaking Guy Fieri, Guy Ramsey. That's what the boys call me. Come on. Now part two. Okay. You like what oh, wow. you're seeing? Yes. Oh, wow. Now this, this is what we come to expect. Innovation. This is gonna go crazy, bro. I'm sad I'm not gonna get to try any. A little bit of Henny. Oh my God. It's so weird. We have, we have honey in here. All right. You know what? Do we not have honey? No. Now, whose bacon is this? Our bacon, sir. Okay. Look at this. What the f is that? Is the heat even on? You got that's a pilot light, buddy. That's a pilot light. That's a pilot light. That's a fucking pilot light. All right. Well, it's cooking somehow. Mitchell, have you ever cooked before? Um, I I cooked a chicken in your video one time. Have you ever ate before? You guys make me cook every time. Don't worry about you. How do you think uh, that's gonna work? Delectable. Yeah, just fries in a pan, huh? No, though you'll see. Oh, mm -hmm. three minutes, chef. That's three gonna be some fries. Ow! Oh, wow. All right, never mind. Don't distract me. <laughs> Watch. That's a pot. Of <laughs> Wait, that is hot. No, 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 it's not that hot. <laughs> That's just from the pilot lot right there. They're literally cooking that on pilot. <laughs> on a pot, try to tell them it's pilot lot. You got this? I'm gonna say this now. We both have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> and at this point, it's just like, how much time we got left? Oh, we got a lot of time, bro. Their food is gonna be cold. <laughs> Contestant, you have about 35 minutes left. Remember, you're just not competing for our tape, but you're also competing for this golden spatula right here. Right from Lenny Axe himself. Yes, sir. Don't cook with it. Again, do not cook with it. It was in my hours, but you're competing for it. This right here is a trophy. Fuck a Michelin star, you want a golden spatula, trust me, all right? That Michelin star's got no street cred. If you ain't a bougie Frenchman, no one gives a shit, okay? Last person that cared about a star was an astronaut and I never saw him again. Last person to get a golden spatula opened a restaurant down in Kentucky and it's still here today. That was 65 years ago. Three minutes, chef! Three minutes, you're lying! <laughs> Yeah, it might be. Lenny, I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, Lenny. I'm, I'm definitely not tasting this shit. Why not? That came from your ass, bro. Oh, shit, you're right. I'll, oh. extra, I'll cook it extra. Yeah, the heat'll get rid of whatever. Well, you know what I'm saying? I ain't dead yet. There can't be nothing crazy in there, you know what I mean? I ain't dead yet. But, you're competing for 
He's right here in the trophy. All right. Oh my God. What do you want me to do now? Do we need a vegetable? Yeah, you want to work on those? Oh my God. Oh, you know, that's good. That's good. Maybe, maybe we can. We can look good. God damn, that thing burnt. Bro, turn that shit off, bro. You're burning up the kitchen. Burning it, it might be a little too hot. The heat might be a little too hot. You're burning it. You're burning it. You got to cook oh, bacon now, slow. Now you this is amazing. Slow. This part of the bacon is overdone, and this exactly. part of the bacon is <laughs> ain't <raw>. even cooked. <laughs> that shit's raw right That's there. That's raw. That's about burnt. Oh, hot grease. Hot grease. Oh, shit. What is going on? I can't trust you. What do you want me to do? Can you make the sauce? How do I make it? I've never made a sauce. Just put this in, whisk it, and How keep much? trying it. Until... Here, you put the amounts. Well, no, no, no. You're going to keep tasting it. Yeah, it's good. Good. Your right. taste buds are closer to Cash and Zach than mine are. So you're a better at taste than me. Bro, no, I am. I don't think know about it. That think one. about it. What we got here? Okay, so we got like nacho fries going right now. We got steak and we also got ground beef we got bacon those are the meats that are in preparation right now i just remembered there's corn in the microwave for that thing oven so i think our main dish is the is the nachos right now I did get the mayonnaise from the trash, but it's clearly sealed, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna try to figure out some like sauce thing. All right. All right. I had. What if we did like a a spicy uh, avocado like? Ooh. Okay. Like like guacamole. Should I just include it here, just in case? Yeah, put it just in case. Yo, what the hell you doing back here? Making some Thousand Island sauce. Is that special sauce? Making some sauce. That looks pretty fucking good right there. That looks good, don't it? It's fire. I know, you're fucked. What? You're fucked, buddy. I'm making my sauce. Yes. What? Bro, I thought it was cool, bro. Uh, this is fucking, a, that's mayonnaise. No, it's not. It's fucking mayonnaise. It's ketchup and That's mayonnaise, bro. And egg. It's egg. It's egg. It's egg. It's egg. I trust you, bro. It's gonna slap, bro. Don't worry. This is like one of the like ripest tomato or uh, avocados I've ever touched. It's so good. Yes. Come on now. It's not for your plate. It's for the other container. I know mayo and I know mayo. You know, I, I just know it. Yeah. My mayo senses went off. You know, I like. Yeah. What the fuck is mayonnaise? <laughs> so what's this? What you making right here? Little little avocado. Gonna make a little spicy avocado sauce. What I tell you about that? Extra avocado ain't American. You know where it's from. Twenty minutes. I think it's gonna be well. I think it tastes good, but I don't know. More hot sauce? Uh, you try. It. I want you to try it. I don't love the sauce, but I don't know what it needs. Maybe more ketchup. Any oh wow, Spice, you know? lady, yeah. that spatula did it justice over here. It did. It did. Yes, he got it extra well done. <laughs> no brown sugar. Oh, oh! oh what the fuck is that? That's the Hennessy. Oh shit. Oh, okay. All right. That's what it does to my belly. I think I taste dang. Dude, I hate this stove. This is the worst stove ever. All right, we're doing good, bro. So I'm heating up the the, the things, the fries. So it's gonna be crunchy, and then we're gonna serve it inside the pan. So we're gonna heat it up and like put cheese so it melts in the pan. Do you even want to do sloppy joes or should we just put that on the fries? On the fries, on the fries. Because it's so much easier just in case. I don't know. This is this one's yours. No mayonnaise in it, just straight ketchup and hot sauce. That is for the other contestants. This is um, hot sauce, mayonnaise, and ketchup for the other judges. What did I tell you earlier? I thought you meant your plea. I don't know you were talking about everyone. He said, I don't want to fucking see mayonnaise. Well, I don't want to see it. it. I don't want to smell it. I don't even want to know it's Don't worry, it's not going to your plate, so there's no problems. <laughs> I promise there'll be no mayonnaise. Mayonnaise a big problem in this kitchen. It's a little bit gone. 
Yeah. I'm loving it. They don't like our sauce. Zach tried it, he didn't like it. All right, let's figure out something else to do with the hot sauce then. Now this is interesting. Yep. Well, what do you mean by interesting? Old, old wiener boy where, right where, here. where are these sausages? On my fries. Wow. Sausage, sausage fries. You look like sausage lover. I do I love, love sausage. sausage. I have a sausage on my leg, bro. Do you? Uh, you do have a wiener. Oh, yeah. A big one. You know, my mother used to have a saying. She used to make sausages, nighttime snacks, and she'd say, I always sleep better with a little sausage inside. Mm. Your mother you, told you that? Yeah. How do you feel about that? I agree with her. Yeah. You know, I, I also sausage. sleep easier at night when I got. You know what my dad used to tell me? Same thing. Nothing. He left. Oh. <laughs> chefs, chefs, I'd like to talk to you too. Can we, can we, come here. Yes. Uh, new bonus challenge. Huh. What's that? If you can get cash to eat mayo without knowing it, we'll give you bonus points. Well, hey, motherfucker, I didn't heard it. <laughs> you won't gotta go. You better run with it. <laughs> now this is the maple bacon, correct? That might have come out bad. <laughs> no, that that looks like we're, we're testing it. Here, let me give me, let me give me a little piece. You haven't caramelized it yet, but the flavor profile is there. amazing. Yeah, we're getting there. Now, Mitch, you you been calm, poised, and, and very collective, man. You know. Um, What's gonna do with the Kool-Aid? I love Kool-Aid. I don't think you should like mess with Kool-Aid. So I think I'm just gonna have you have you guys have a nice beverage. Flavor of your choice. I like that. I like that. What you marinate that with? Water. Mayonnaise? Nah, bro. No more mayonnaise. I'm done. I'm done with the mayonnaise. I learned my lesson. No mayonnaise will be on your plate. I can promise you that. Nope. All right. 19 minutes. Now this is interesting. This is science. What are we doing here? Fucking up is what it looks like. <laughs> Can I be honest? I'm really worried that you are grimacing at the taste of the Kool-Aid you made. Well, I think this is a two ingredient drink. I think someone might have sabotaged it. <laughs> you think someone sabotaged your Kool-Aid? Oh, are you oh, sure? Dear. It's not ready. <laughs> Chef on Nasty, how was that? Not bad. Okay. <laughs> not, 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 not bad at all. What just now? What did you just do? More? Uh, I'm a little concerned. Uh, Chef O'Nasty might be drunk, and Chef Lenny, there's a whole host of problems there. I don't even know if he's a chef, and I'm pretty sure he's put his ass on most of the food. <laughs> Probably looking good. Taste it. Love to see what you think, Mitchell. The crispy? No, not yet. Do a little more. We probably could do a little more, okay. but yeah, yeah, I'm gonna toss it. This is a bit concerning. This is his personal bottle, and it's more than halfway gone. Why you put no blast with that, Lenny? Let me help you out, buddy. <laughs> no, man. Yeah, I know. It's from the same parts, man. La, 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 la. <laughs> That's what you do. <laughs> hey. Oh. Hey. Let's have more. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're doing, you're doing oh an amazing job. Uh, thank oh you. My God. Don't we have fucking measuring cups for fuck's sake? He's using a fucking ladle. <laughs> don't sweat the technique. <laughs> I don't know what the pan is. Maybe you use this one. This smaller. Oh my God. Something's <laughs> burning like a motherfucker. Fuck! Oh, oh, oh shit! <laughs> I don't feel safe anymore. Are you okay? I'm done. Oh my god. Oh, oh, god. oh shit. shit. Daddy. It's bad. Well, the thing is, metal is a pretty good conductor of heat.
Quick little update, things are not looking good for either team. Smells like smoke in here. Uh, I got no expectations. I haven't seen anything I think I'd like. Damn near everything's burnt. That's a cooking battle wound, bro, you know? Appreciate that. Yeah. You know, I know right now it hurts. Like the whole the thing and then the top part. Yeah. All right, if it starts to It, it happened to all yeah. of us. All right, I'm not gonna lie. These fries don't look very appetizing, but we're gonna find out, man. Yeah, those are the handle that, that you said was good. Uh, you just try like moving it or something? Yeah. I, it was just... Where is it burned? Just right here? Or like... So I grabbed it like... Like that. So Sorry. it's like all this and like all this. Shit. These aren't that bad. I got you, Jeff. Hell yeah. Way to carry. Hell yeah. How's it looking? It's looking good. All right, we're gonna turn on the heat uh -huh. and then uh, cover it. How's the hand feeling? It's okay. It's getting worse, but it should be fine. Cause I got you as a shoe, as a coach. Chef. Contestants, you got two fucking minutes. Hurry up. We need everything on the plate in two minutes. Two? Two? Yes! Two! You don't count that until you actually start moving. All right, I mean, we really just need a big ass plate. So I give them this sauce? I'm gonna just give it, because it's our secret ingredient. Yeah, what are you using well, I'm gonna burger? use one for the burger, though. This is how we get the mayonnaise and cashews thing. <laughs> Jesse, uh, this one is for cash. Can we put a flag on it? Putting a flag on all of them. Yeah, but this way we know this has no mayo. This has no mayo. Put two flags on her. Extra murk. Okay. Extra mayo, extra murk. Yeah. Oh, the sauce for the block. Yeah. Let's You want to try the cheese fries or the burger? What? Try it? Yeah. We're it's done. Okay. So let's go request to go first. Okay, you got it. <laughs> Judges, we have finished with a minute to spare. Do you think we could go first and just start throwing our plates over there? Absolutely fucking not. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Contestants, you have one minute. One. We need them things ready. Fucking minute. Let's keep it on. Keep it on for as long. Let's keep it on for as long as. Yeah, it hasn't plated. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Contestant, get your mittens and your hands off your plate. Time's it up. Let's get the first place to here. We got the Rodeo Brothers. Got you. I'm gonna be honest with you, you boys might be fucked. All right, judges. So today we have prepared a classic American feast, 4th of July style. James, talk about the entree. Uh, we got a burger. It's meant to taste like, you know, on the grill. The bacon is Hennessy sugar glazed. Now we use the Cheetos in the fries. We use the hot sauce and the sauce. Yes, yeah, so the hot Cheetos, those are hot Cheeto waffle fries with cheese on top. They're very delicious. Absolutely no mayonnaise on the plate for cash, by the way. And we have a flight of Kool-Aid. So you get every option, three different flavors. Why do I smell mayonnaise on, on, the, on the bun? Maybe smelling you it from so Zach. Earlier, that... Yeah. Still stuck in the There's zero mayonnaise. I'll be honest there. with you, bub. You might be smelling that spatula behind you. Yeah, it might be it. Yeah, you're right. Chefs. Yes. Are you aware that you burnt the sausage? We actually did that on purpose. Yeah. We personally we like to... the burn on it. We wanted to balance the sweetness of the bacon with the bitterness of the burn. Exactly. 
Why are you laughing? Sounds like bullshit. Man. I mean, it's just such a good. He laughs. You, it's, it's, yeah, I'm just so happy about it. Stop you know? the cap. Why are you eating it with a fork? I'm a chef. God damn it. Okay. It's American. I'm sorry for questioning you. Woo. These hands. Nice her. They awesome. touch chef's awesome. knives awesome. and beautiful breasts. Stop the cap. I respect the that. The hot sauce is in the burger and in the sauces with the fries. There's no mayo on there. It should taste like it's in the sausage too. Mm. I don't trust a fucking right now, bro. This The fucking paint, bro! What? The fucking burger paint you didn't even cut the shit! Oh, it's medium rare. That's still that's not cooked! It's medium rare. This shit still bleeding! I can't believe this happened. I, I, I don't know what shocked. happened. I think they put their burger in ours. So your sausage was burnt and your burger was raw. Is it literally raw? Ooh, Ooh yeah, that one is. That Ooh, one is. <laughs> Bro, they were telling me I got a burger. <laughs> we didn't have a spatula. <laughs> Oh no. I haven't used a pot before to cook. Oh. My burger is well done. Nice. If I get a bite of that. So chefs, you were one for three on cooking burgers. Yes. Do you think that would fly in my restaurant? No. But this ain't your restaurant, this is ours. Wash it down with the Kool-Aid, sir. Yeah, wash it down. <laughs> what the fuck did you just say to me? Oh, <laughs> oh stop, bro. Oh, that has so much sugar in it. I was told there wasn't enough sugar. Listen, chefs, I'm gonna be honest with you. Creative use <laughs> of, yeah, that's the third one. She's too separate. <coughs> Creative use. Oh my of, God, it burns. I wasn't joking. It was like drinking a fireball. <laughs> Creative use of the mystery ingredients. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. When you execute it, oh it's good. The problem is, oh. I see a lot of mental mistakes. Half a gallon of sugar in this, two undercooked burgers, dangerous food. Oh. I expect better. We'll be better next round. We'll be better next round. Chefs, tell me about your dish. This is a, you know, a original piece done by the Step Brothers. What we did was we did a uh, little nacho style, yeah. American way, you know? And this must taste good because you didn't worry about presentation at all. No. It looks like shit. You can grab it with your hand, you can grab it with your mouth, you can grab it with your fork if you would like. We also got a little henny aid. I think is what the kids are calling it nowadays. Are you aware that your fries are wet? That's how we like them. It's America style. So you're, you're going for that? Can't go wrong with a moist bite. Focus on the uh, flavor and the seasoning. Integrated the henny and hot sauce a little bit into the meat. I'm also tasting a little bit of your burnt flesh. That's probably... It's delicious. Okay. <laughs> Is it possible there's human you, skin in here? 100% possible, most likely. Most likely. Oh yeah, get a little bit of the dip. That is hot sauce infused guacamole. Yep. So what ingredients are in your guacamole? Avocado, Jeff's fingertip, hot sauce. So it's not really guacamole, is it? There's a few hidden spices in there. Yeah. Second grabs? Second grab is a good sign. That's a great sign. Jeff's. This is a bold decision. Throwing everything in a pot and saying F it. <laughs> I like that about you, you're crazy. However, I wish these fries were crispy. They would have added a dimension to the dish. You're better than that. Understood, Judge. However, I also respect playing hurt. Thank you, Judge. Your hand is burnt off. It's not there no more. It's bad. Oh shit, did you try this? I have thoughts. We wouldn't get it. Thank you, chefs. Thank you, judges. Thank you, chefs. Hold on.
Hold on. Are you rolling? That's a pew. We did see him in flesh was in there. That's an actual beard. It's, the, it's his beard when he was <laughs> It's Mitchell's beard. We did see him in flesh was in here. There's more human parts in this dish than there are food parts. Listen, I don't know what the fuck's all in this dish. The brothers Rydell came in clearly with more ability and the bar was set high. Yeah. And the, the, the presentation, they had it on lock. Oh, it yeah, was there. It was beautiful. But you have to cook your food. They broke a cardinal rule and it really hurt. It really hurt. <laughs> He's so serious, though. Out of do you not cook? <laughs> Number one rule in the kitchen: you gotta cook the food, and that is raw, raw. That's not good. That, that is raw, raw. First of all, I'm a person that like well done. First of all, okay, this is not even medium well. Like this is, this is disgusting. However, you can cook that more. You can't unpube these nachos. That is true. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I'd rather, I'd rather eat a pube than I would. That fucking bird. Same. Let's go ahead and give a great scout on the first dish. So, okay. what you got? What's it? The Rydell brothers. Overall, just 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 just, just for me, my chef experience. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna get that a five out of ten. Okay. That's me. You're you know, being you're, you're being real generous there, Chef O Nasty. Cause I gave it a four. Wow. Fortunately, my burger was cooked. Okay. It was. So I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. Okay and give them a six out of 10. So, so I think we all need to meet in the middle. Let's do um, so they got a five. Five. five out of 10. All right, let's go to the second dish. That presentation was awful, but this is 4th of July theme. 4th of July theme. It's, it's American, right? I think our taste was fantastic. Obviously like the plating, but it's also, we, we plated it like we're at a cookout. Yeah. So it's not gonna be good looking. It's gonna taste good though. I have seen horrific car accidents that look better than this dish. I'm there with you, because... But that motherfucker do taste good. It do taste good. God damn. <laughs> it, um, you know, like... I, I usually just... don't like carne asada, but... I don't, I don't like pubes. Whatever they did to them. I typically don't like pubes either. Unless on Saturday. Saturday's an exception. Yeah. You know what? I gotta say this for the record. Mitchell is one of the best cooks I've, I've worked with. And I think... To underestimate his skills is you're, you're, you're tripping. Thank you. I respect it. I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have to go with an eight out of ten for me. Wow. That's that's me. That's me. What? That's me. I'm gonna meet you there. I'm gonna go eight out of ten. I can't go that high. These French fries were abysmal, and they messed them up three times. And I tried to tell you them. had to dumb me down your, your excuse excuse me you had to dumb me down your vocabulary when you talking to us. These I french fries are trash. I ain't understood a word he fucking said all day, but I like the way he talks. Oh, yes. What are we doing here? You gotta get it hard. <laughs> you, you gotta cook it. <laughs> what I mean to say. Joe Biden gets harder than this. <laughs> I also got burned on my forehead. I, I got Bad burn. I the difference between me and Jeff is his is right now. Yeah. Mine was like four yeah. weeks ago. So I'm going to give this dish a six out of ten. Okay. Me I got a seven. Up. Got a seven out of ten. All right. It's a good thing we're gonna have a second round. Yeah. So the contestants are gonna have a second round to where they can, it can go either way, you know? The Rydell brothers need redemption. I think they have more in them. You think so? Bring them in. No way you can undercook a dessert. <laughs> don't put it past them. <laughs> no, no, please don't put it past Jess. I would say, you know, you both did a good job. But uh, you but didn't. Yeah, I'll be fucking lying. First plate. This not even cooked. It's not medium well. You didn't like this. This is. It was unacceptable. Unacceptable. We Will, can you give me a, a yeah, that, yeah. Can you give me a, a big word to describe this? Like, give us one of them colorful yeah, words. Yeah, them, them big words. Not colored, colorful. Don't piss me off now. You are so problematic, Chef. Um, I think your dish was uninspired. Yes, Chef. I'd have to agree. So we gave you guys a five out of 10. We'll take it. We'll take that. Well, you got no choice. It's true. The Step Brothers. Yes. Um, we admire your courage. Can you give us another colorful word? Your tenacity. Ooh, yeah, I like that. that. I like oh, that. That, I like that was that. beautiful. I like that one. Especially after you got hurt and kept going. Yeah. That's tenacious. Oh, uh, Mitchell, we did find one of your pubes. 
We did find a beard hair in the fries. We, we found pubes. That's my fault. But it's okay. It was okay for this Cajun. Yes. Um, we give y'all seven out of 10. We need that. We head now into the dessert round, which will be your last shot at redemption. Hey, we got a special ingredient. You have to incorporate it. It's watermelon. Watermelon? Yes. You got 20 minutes starting now. Oh, What's your favorite watermelon dessert? I'm just curious. I just like watermelon. Can we just give it to him straight up? Yeah. Why are you asking him and not Willie? Because he's over here. Did you say you better take one of those? Why'd you tell the black? Why'd you tell the black man to take a banana? All right. Here I got you. That's what I'm thinking too. But I know how to make watermelon a day. I'm gonna make you something, and you tell me if you like. The nice thing with watermelon is it breaks down very easily. Yeah. So. If you put it with that maybe more and pestle again, you can crush it down into a sauce. You can do that or... Yeah, but what, what sauce? What? I don't know. So here's another thing. You got a giant mixer, right? You got vanilla ice cream in there. Vanilla ice cream with the watermelon, throw it in the mixer, watermelon ice cream. Maybe we just make a smoothie with the strawberries, this and ice cream. Or you can just throw my advice in the fucking well, trash. We're adding to it. Why'd you even ask him if you were gonna fuck him off? All right, bro. Smoothie. I want to apologize. I'll tell that, I'll tell Pissing off the judge. I don't know how this thing works. I don't know what to do. I gave it like five things. I just messed up the next thing. I can't, bro. It breaks down. So let's just say we have it. Yeah, I don't. Okay. Well, should we just set up the blender and go smoothie? Yeah, we gotta, we gotta All right. Or you can just throw my advice to the fuck. Sir, bro, what if we say we take, we just use the watermelon as a bowl? But I feel like it's low key a little too yeah. shallow. I mean, we turn this into watermelon split. We, we, we cut out the middle and we put a smoothie in there. We need the creativity. Okay. Because if we just make a smoothie, we're going to lose. Because they already have a lead. Yeah, they literally started making a smoothie. You work on the filling of the watermelon, I'll work on carbon. Wait, wait, wait. Can you work on the filling? No, no. It's going to break it down. You want me to chop up the strawberries then? I'll start with that. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll figure it out. From, we'll figure it out one at a time. Yeah. Sounds like danger. A lot of dangerous things in the kitchen. What are they making? What? You getting mayonnaise on you? Uh, hey, I'll come like clean. You ignore my advice, you piece of shit. I'll put a little bit in. Yeah. So like one, one scoop, one million, one scoop that. So it's kind of even. Let me get another scoop. Like this much. Yeah, we might need some like, too watery. Yeah. Where's the rest of the head? I'm gonna help you execute. You don't want to really. All right, what do you want to do with this? You need the most delicious sauce. Wait, are we gonna make it a slushy? Oh, we were? How are they gonna eat it if it's a slushy? So, I don't know if they're gonna, but the moment one of them puts it in, it's cross contamination. I, right, dude, I'll be honest. I don't know about this place. Wait, let's make an ice cream smoothie. In the we can do a cold stone on this. We'll mix the strawberries into the ice cream with cold stone. Yeah. Uh, I'll come clean. You ignored my advice, you piece of shit. We're letting the judges get interactive. It's like Yamato. Bro, I, I feel so lost. <laughs> so, uh, a team that completely ignored my advice, how you doing? Great, great, great. We didn't ignore your advice. We were trying to figure out how to incorporate the strawberries on... Oh, okay, yeah, so... I can't help but notice you're not doing what I... Because, do. because they're doing, we don't want to copy them. Oh, okay. That's not, they already have the so we gotta do yeah, something very unique. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a catamaran made out of fruit. <laughs> it's a boat. It's oh, a boat. we're going for a float. Who loves a good boat? Okay, get it in the freezer. Which one's the freezer? Oh, found it. Found it. Wow. <laughs> That's working out. You're not gonna 
mix that up at all anymore. It is mixed up. What are you talking about? That looks oh. pretty. F oh my god. Well, I guess there ain't nothing pretty about it, but it looks. That looks like a Care Bear shit in a watermelon. <laughs> last, time, last time, the team with the ugly presentation won. So we're taking a page out of their book. Boom. Firmer up. Okay, here's what you're gonna do. Serving cups, small, right? Put them in there. What you're gonna do, make a garnish. Right now, while you're waiting, carve these into something pretty. Load it up, load it up. Can, wait, can you open the freezer for me? Open the freezer. Go back there by the judges. That's the ugliest heart ever created. All right. Wait, what if, what if I carve this up, Mitchell? And then we put the cups in here. And I serve it like that, or something like that. Drinks? Oh, drinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should I get sugar so we can sweeten it? Yeah, yeah, sure. We could make it water, get a filter, sift the, the juice through so it's not seedy. Just do like a watermelon refresher. Now, I don't know if that's the right size. I too big still, but it is a great serving size. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Ooh. See what I'm doing here? Do you have three clean ones? Yeah. I may have eaten the other one. Stop helping them! Could we use like one of these elements to make like a bowl? We need uh, those stick things. What if we went crushed cookie on the inside of those? Crushed cookies. Is that seed soup? It's actually Will's oh, favorite. It just hasn't been sifted yet, silly goose. Ooh. <laughs> silly sausage. Yes, sir. Oh, Mad genius. Six minutes, let's get it. Go get the ice cream, see if it's firm. Six minutes, actually, wait till like two minutes, and then we're gonna serve. Stop helping them! Six minutes! Dude, you pissed him off, bro. Yeah, I got mad. What did we do? He wouldn't take his advice. We did take his advice. Look at that. Look at that, cookie bowls. Oh, bro, don't do you go understand? fuck with the ice cream. All right, but it's not central. Contestants, you have five, go in. Give me a second one. Give me a second one. Oh my god, they took our idea. You gotta be ready to garnish. When that ice cream comes out, you're gonna have 120 seconds to get your dick hard. Do you understand? Yes. All right. I like what you're doing, but it's not centered. Make a second one. Three more minutes. And you close that fridge while watermelon is in there. Yeah, well, what's going on? It has to scream America. Ellis Island. Send me your huddled masses yearning to be free. Give me the ice cream! Will, stop cooking. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. They're not even cooking. Work for them. Will's bleeding for them. Cash. Chef O'Nasty! Hey, y'all shut up over there. Okay, y'all meal tastes like shit. The first round. Did firm up? No. Okay. Good enough. Good enough. Good, uh, good enough. Will, stop cooking. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. They're not even cooking. Work for them. Well, they're adopted. We have a new stepbrother. No, listen, you're gonna say that this is a mousse. You're gonna say that you made a mousse and not an ice cream because the texture is all So good. when we tell you, we tell you it's a mousse. There you go. Let me taste. Yep. Fuck, that's delicious. Minute and a half! Should we take it out? We just gotta put this on it. Yeah, and all the things. Good This is actually so dang. This tastes... Yep, I'll clean it up. Just go fast. Just go fast. We don't have time. Just go fast. Boom. Okay. Yes. Now. Cause the flag still stands for freedom, and I can't take that away. Two hours later. Contestant, time's up! It's melting, let's get this going. <laughs>
a dramatic uptick in the presentation of your food this round. We took some classes between yeah. the last cooking and this cooking. Yeah. Got some lessons and uh, our teacher was really good. So what are we eating? We infuse the ice cream given to us with a little bit of watermelon. It's a sherbet. So it's a watermelon mousse. Mousse, mousse. Yes. yes. So we should start with this and then this is an appetite yeah, so refresher? Exactly. Okay. So th this is for when you're, when you're with your squad on the 4th of July. You That's got it. fucking good. Yeah, this is the, the family gathering right here. You know, every, everyone's getting some good bites wow. in. That watermelon mousse was inspired. Very. What a brilliant good. idea to infuse the vanilla <laughs> ice cream with watermelon. After you guys tried that, you guys could try your palate cleanser. So we would, we would refresh our palates now with this dish. Oh my God. It's very wet. Throughout my years, I've always been a contestant. This is a, uh, this will pass my dessert. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, chefs. Thank you, judges. Thank you, judges. Now, the second dish, it looks like a watermelon bucati. And we love this. You know what? Now, judges, I know they gave you the cleanse, the palate refresher. Oh, no, can you be quiet? We're trying to finish the first dish. Just give me a second. Ours is melting. Can you give us a second? Can you, can you give us a second? Can, can you get us a second? Jeez. Start out. Yes, we know you had the, the palate refresher, but after that abomination of a dessert, you're going to need a deep clean. We got you covered. Water can, can one person speak at a time? Water <laughs> You damn right, your brother. You can't trust me. <laughs> no way. You didn't even try it. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> I'd say I hate it, but it's not a strong enough word. All right, so we're just going to serve this. <laughs> now, this is America, correct? You put that. That is a small ass portion size. This is an American portion size. Can I ask you a question? Yes. When did you think it was a good idea to put the gunpowder <laughs> end of the sparkler in the food? Because this is the back. Pretty sure that's the back. Hey, that goes into take the it out. It's not a problem anymore. <laughs> wow, look at that presentation. How are those strawberries, bro? Actually pretty fucking They're good. They're pretty elevated, aren't they? Why don't you try that bland ass strawberry in the other dish and then try our strawberry? I haven't even tried the cupcake. It's a cupcake. With, with Elevated. America. With America chocolates. Where's my cupcake? We figured you would need it. With, with the gains, we're worried about. Yeah, we're worried about the gains. Your protein to carb ratio has to be considered. Thank you, chefs. Now, I do want to thank you guys, you know, for coming out here and actually uh, cooking for us and bringing your best, you know? We have decided. Will you say this is a close race? Very close race. The dessert round was um, particular. <laughs> it started good, but this right here is starting to look better. Mm. It, it tastes good. Yeah. <sighs> the winner, Step Brothers. Woo! Let's go! Yeah! I, I must say, you know, how many times I came in this kitchen and I put on a show. You know, for judges, I I, I know it's, it's it's a lot of pressure, you know, especially we we, we got Laney, you know, down your throat, you know. You got name right. And you got you got Will over here, you know. He, he always measuring, you know, your dick sizes and things like that, you know. I understand. I did you know, that. You did do that. Yeah, he did. All of the camera now. Yep. Uh, but um, six you, inches minimum to be a chef. Men. I, I think everybody fit that quite. <laughs> 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 I'd like to present to the Step Brothers for the first time in Chopped History, the Golden Spatula. Woo! Thank you, judges. We've worked all year for this. That's gonna do it for the Summer Chop. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure you leave a like. If you like Lenny, leave another like. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Big shout out to our buddy, Willie. Right. Willie Neff. Thanks for coming on the channel. I thought I would just be judging today, oh, but no. I ended up doing first aid and teaching him how to cook. <laughs> you did a great job. His links are down in the description. If you guys want to watch another chop, click right here. Again, subscribe to the channel. If you don't, I'm gonna whoop your ass. See ya.